Something very big is about to happen today. And believe me, you guys have been asking me about this for a while. And I didn't make this happen. It's crazy. It just came to me. And I don't even know if I can tell you what is happening. So I don't even know how to explain it. Because I have to go. I have to go do it. Hello my sniffers and flighters and newbies. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I'm really excited. Today is a very big day. I'm very nervous about today. I don't know how to tell you what we're doing, but I want to tell you this first. I wrote a disclaimer and I put it in the description box. Well, I haven't done that yet, but I did that because I don't want to have to say this right now and interrupt this programming. This is going to be a very interesting, amazing video. You guys have been asking me about this forever and I just want to let you know that I did not make this happen. This came to me, hence the disclaimer in the bottom. I don't know if I should just say what's happening. Just say what you need to say. Just say, you know the song? Just say what you need to say. Okay. I don't know, I'm really nervous about this. Basically, you guys were asking me whatever happened to Merlin. Do you guys remember Merlin when I went to visit Parrots first with Heather and she was looking for a bird and then we just happened upon Merlin the African Grey? Well, I didn't pursue getting Merlin for either me or Heather because it didn't seem to me like Heather was ready for a bird. That was the first thing. And two, I didn't need any more birds. And honestly, Merlin was in a good place. Parrots First is a fantastic place. He was engaged, not caged. He was hanging out all the time. My house wouldn't have been better than where he was, except that we had a really good connection. But that's why I have this disclaimer below, and I encourage you guys to always read descriptions before making uneducated comments, because it's just one thing that annoys me. People not reading and gathering info and assuming things. But what's important to me for you guys to understand right now is that one we're getting we're, Merlin thank you George that made it a lot easier for me <laughs> we're getting Merlin and I will tell you more about why we're getting Merlin but I just want to let you know when I said that we didn't seek out getting Merlin it's exactly what I said but I don't know if I can say why we're getting Merlin but basically Rose contacted me and wanted me to have Merlin. More on that later. And uh, I'm not gonna film when I go in there right now because I just don't know if it's appropriate. But I will take my camera in if, if she allows me to film, that'll be fine. If not, I'm gonna document bringing Merlin home. I'm just shocked, I guess. So this is what's happening. Okay. Is this it? Yes. Oh. Where did you go? Show you something. Come on, it's okay. Come on, come on, head scratch. Has he ever bit you? Once. Yeah. Wanna try to put him in his cage? Hi, Merlin. How are you? You are so handsome with your big head. Are you alright? You feeling okay? It's gonna be shocking for him, probably. It will be. Guess what? You're gonna come home with me today. And me. <laughs> and George. You are gonna love you forever and ever. You're gonna see other birdies. Where do you wanna go? He's showing me where he wants I to go. I wanna go in the carrier for you. You wanna go in the carrier, baby? Look. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Okay, how about we back up? I know you like backing up. It's okay. There you there go. go. That went well. Not too bad, right? No, not at all. Merlin, I put you in here, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be like this. I love his name. I love the name Merlin. <laughs> so, I'm here with Merlin. He's always following Rose, like he likes to look at Rose, like I think he wants the confirmation that he's gonna be okay. Oh, he sees the cage being moved right now. He's, he's watching that. It's okay, baby, you're coming with us. It's okay. You're coming with your cage yeah. and with us. <laughs> okay, baby, you're gonna come with me, okay? Mm 
Isn't he so cute? Is it me? Hi, Merlin. What do you think? Hello. I don't know. We're going to find out. It's, he seems cute. He's making little cute noises. I think he likes me. We'll find out soon. That's why it's important now for you to socialize with him a lot because we know he stepped up to me. I'm sad. I always feel sad for the bird. Like, I'm happy he's coming with us, but like, I know how hard change is. Stop it. Don't make me cry now. I know. Like every time, like even when she gave us a Rocky, like I cried for her because it was like, it's, it's hard, like. Try giving up her baby. Yeah, I know. But she knows he's going to be with us. It's going to be good. I love him. Okay, so on a serious note now, it's raining. <laughs> What's going on, California? But we need it, so it's good. Now we could go home and make lunch for Merlin. <laughs> in us you could tell she just loves the birds she's just so good with them what i wanted to tell you guys is now is a very important time for us to go home and give merlin space but also socialize with him but in a way that's comfortable for him let him get to know his surroundings walk around so let's just see what happens whistle to him see if he cares Stop. He was dancing when I did it last time when we picked him up. Before we picked him up, he was dancing. He was like, he bobbed me his head. I wonder what Cody's gonna think of all this. We're here, Merlin. I fall in love with you. Like, the moment I've seen it, like, the moment I saw I got a chance to play with him, like, just to talk to him, I already fell in love with him. He's got that cute face, you know what I mean? Like, he's got that little cute face. And I love the little tiny feathers that he has on the sides. You ready to get out, Merlin? Come on, let's go. I'll get, you get him, I'll get the cage. Okay, wait, so what's our plan of action? Well, we're gonna set up the cage somewhere for now. The idea is maybe keep him away from his cage so that way he can actually... That's what I was thinking, like I gotta pack, I gotta send merchandise, maybe I could bring him up there to work with me. Yeah. You ready to go? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what did he say? Ow. Out? Okay guys, I'm 100% confident that Merlin's just gonna love me, so I think it's really important that George be the first person to get Merlin out. Oh. Cause I think that like, oh, oh he's excited. Yeah. Hi. I just wanna tell you though, as soon as he saw Harry, he barked. Did you? Wanna step Sandy? up? Sandy? Wanna step up? Yeah. Hi. He came step right up. to me. Step up. Pretty bird. You like guitars? Guitars. He's seeing his surroundings. He's looking at everything. He's probably wondering where his cage is. It's a little scary, I know. He's analyzing everything. That's why I love African grays. Hi, Merlin. He seems comfortable. He does, right? But you know they're in a hypersensitive time right now, so it's like they'll let you do things that they might not normally let you do. Remember when we pulled out Nelly and Monty? So what we should do right now is like step up for me, step up to you, step up for me, step up to you. So just that everyone sees how to socialize a bird when you first get them. Because things move fast in this house in terms of getting to know a bird. Hi Merlin. Hello. Do you want to step up? Good bird, Merlin! Ask him to step up. You want to step up to me? Step up? Uh-oh. So it means that you're going to need... Step up! Good bird, but try Good your left bird. hand. Sometimes Good it's bird. about another hand. Step up. Good bird, yeah. Merlin! Good bird! He likes you, though. He likes me already, so we know he likes me. So that means that when you hold Merlin, you have to hold Merlin for longer and and spend time away, like... Away from you. Right. Like, I it's should me leave. Time. Me and you time. Don't tell anybody, okay? Don't move fast around them, like waving your hands and such. You did good, Merlin. Do you want to do more? Let's do it again. Again? Again. Time for step up. Step up. 
Good bird. Good bird. Good bird. Okay, now you guys see, I put my thumb up so he can't go up to my shoulder so that he's going to have to step up to George. You wanna step up? Do your other hand. You wanna step up? Come here. Come. Mama. Come here. So later, you're gonna have to be the one to take him out of his cage and such. Mm -hmm. Obviously he had a, a connection to women, but I also believe when a bird sees you visit, step up. Step up. Step up, no good bird. You gotta step up, mama. It's okay. Okay, it's your first day. Hmm. It's your first day. Step up. Step up, good bird. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good, good bird, bird, Merlin. Good bird. Good bird, Merlin. Good, good bird. bird. This is why I love African greys. They're so interesting, you know? Like, you know that just as much as you want to look at them, they want to look at you. They're looking at everything. Yeah. Do you hear that? That's Cody banging his dish. Cody's like. Well, What's going on? No, he doesn't know, but he must know. What does the kitty cat say? Meow. Do you like that? Do you want to eat some tea? She said, don't give him a pistachio. It isn't like pistachio. And he gets mad that he's offered a pistachio. Mm, no like, pistachios for you. You did so crazy. You don't like pistachios. I never met a bird that didn't like pistachios. And also, it'd be very important for you to be the one to feed him. Oh, did you see? He, you want potty? Yep. Mommy knows everything. Potty, that was time for potty. Time for potty. That's the first indication of like what his potty reaction might be. <sighs> no more birds, okay? Promise? <laughs> Literally, Merlin like met me and like wanted to be mine and then the universe made it happen, but the universe needs to understand. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you you like that? <laughs> so we're just spending time with Merlin, hanging out. Generally, you always want to keep them lower than you, stay in front of them. I'm sitting a little bit behind him, but generally you'd want to make sure that he feels comfortable. You're a fancy face. Oh, you're going to say something? Go ahead, we listen. You thirsty? Uh, what was that? Uh, he's got a deep voice. Uh, oh. <laughs> Merlin, you sound, what? You sound like a wizard. His feet are actually pink. You notice that? All right. <laughs> he's got like reddish. What's he saying? I'm not sure, but he's got a deep voice. But he, the, the he problem is blended. people are gonna say that we're talking over him, but he talks when we talk. Yeah. You flock talks. Are you flock talking? <laughs> you see his feet? Rush, rush. What do you say? You see his feet? They're like, they're like pink. What do you want to say? They're not black. They're pink. You see that? It's special. And he also has blue feathers on his head. Do you notice that? Blue? Yeah. When like Cody? Like Cody, yeah. But under the feather, you see it. We should try to feed him something. I guess then assemble his cage. I do have to start my process of getting out of here. You wanna go to mommy? Step up. Good bird. Good bird. Good bird. Good bird. Yeah. Look at your big head. He's got a big head. Look at your big head, it's so cute. He's got a big body too. Wanna sit on my shoulder? Oh, he's gonna be a shoulder bird. He just fluffed up like. He we should have tried to put him on your shoulder. Step up. Good bird, Merlin. Come. Come here. Step up. Step down. Step, Step down. up. Good bird. Thank you. Put him on your shoulder. Wanna step up? Yeah. Yeah. He's on my shoulder. 
That's good. So we know that so far... What do you say? Sure, sure. He's always talking next to you. We know that so far he can be on George's shoulder. What do you say? He say? I think he said George. That's George. Yeah. I'm Marlene. Okay? What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? Name Marlene. Name Merlin. Name George. Okay? Marlene. I'm Marlene. Merlin. George. I'm George. Yeah. Oh, you like it. Do you like We're gonna pressure wash all the cages. Just because we have to pressure wash this one, so we'll do all of them. Look. He wants to go in the cage. Can we go in there? Fix his swing. His, Where's the swing supposed to be? The swing needs to come. It lower? Was it lower? He's telling you. Is that your swing? Yeah. <laughs> Did he say yeah? I heard him say yeah. You're putting all your stuff back. Okay guys, so this is what happened. We went grocery shopping and got a lot of the things that she told us that Merlin liked. And she said he likes baby food mixed up with his vegetables. So George went and bought this inorganic baby food from Whole Foods. It's like mangoes. Yeah, mangoes. We couldn't get him off of the cage because he was cage territorial. So George brought the stand over and left it there. And then next thing, now twice when he was in the kitchen and my fridge was open and he saw me with these things, he flew down to the floor. Coincidentally, I put these at the bottom of the fridge and he walked over, he flew down, walked over and showed us that he wanted one. So we opened it and he started drinking it. Wow. These are good because they're also closed. There you go. Oh, you want more? That's amazing, no? That means he knew. Like, she didn't show you. She didn't buy those exact ones. You don't even know what she bought. Yeah. She might have bought that then. And he knows what she puts in there. He's also been hungry and he saw these in his. Yeah, but what bird knows to drink out of these? Look, he's gonna knock over the place. Uh -huh. There goes that one. Okay, Merlin, we understand. He doesn't want any more. I get it. Guys, I have to show you this. They were at the bottom of the fridge. Like right here is just a coincidence that I put them there because like I didn't find any other place. And he walked over and showed us that he wanted it. The first time I brought it out, he flew down. So I was like, oh, maybe he knows what these are. But I didn't, I just imagined old school baby food. So a little bit of an update. What we've been doing is um, Merlin is somewhat quarantined in a way. Like he's not coming in contact with any of the other birds. We're not sharing anything. And we've designated a stand for Merlin. But he's a little bit different than the Senegals because the Senegals, I didn't know what she had. I had never seen those birds before. Merlin, we had seen previously. And quarantine is so that you know that in a month or so, the bird is still healthy. And it's already been like three months since we saw Merlin. So he should be good. This is just something to know about how still we're gonna take some precautions but just kind of like with Leo how I knew Leo was also fine and Lou specializes in quarantine so he's here and they're kind of sharing the same space if you know what I mean Meanwhile, I was trying to keep him kind of like over here out of the way, but then uh, hell broke loose. And then Vinny started doing this. 
What's going on? Look at you just inserting yourself and everything. You want, buddy? <laughs> so obsessed with that stuff. She's got pepper mouth. I can smell the pepper mouth in here. George gave him this. You're done with it. I know you don't want it anymore. He likes the fridge. Look, he likes when you open the fridge. Yeah, I can see that. Guys, Merlin flew down, walked over here, and then climbed up Ellie. Say hi, Ellie. Hi. Ellie's George's dad. Merlin just like walked over to him on his own account and climbed up to be next to him. So Merlin obviously has a buddy. Merlin, do you like Ellie? Hi, sweetie. Hi, my sweet dog. Sandy. Hi, Rocky. Monty. Who's the most handsome? Okay guys, I gotta go up and mail some shirts and stuff. Get your Vinny Gang shirts. So I'm gonna bring him with me so that I can focus on him and probably the dogs because the dogs are coming too. Where do you wanna sit, Merlin? You wanna just kinda sit on my shoulder? Let's do some mailing. Oh, you wanna say something already? So Merlin's gonna sit right here on this chair. By the way, one thing that you guys should know, one trick is like the more you include them in different spots, if you guys notice his cage is nowhere in here, obviously. So you're including him in different spots, but on different things, you're turning different things into perches. He doesn't actually have a stand up here. He's forced to sit on this chair and that's actually very helpful because it gets him acclimated to just doing different things and being everywhere with you. So he's just gonna sit here while I package your shirts. Basically, I just ate dinner and he sat here the whole time and then as soon as the food came out, he said, want some? Want some? Yeah, he, he was very inclusive. He inclu yeah. Did you include yourself in everything, Merlin? He's been very inclusive today. Rocky, what do you have to say about all this? Leo had a lot of food, as usual. He's like, he likes bread, but too much bread, right? Yeah. Oh, you want it? Merlin. He's so cute. What about Monty? Monty's like, I'm cute too. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And Nelly peeking. Vinny! You're here? What are you doing? What? I just... this kind of stuff come on let's go anyway so that's day one with Merlin the main thing I want you guys to know is how inclusive we are with the birds kind of like right away it's his moment to know how things here are gonna be different you know not necessarily better I'm sure he had a great time over there it's just that like he needs to know that he's gonna be included right away while he's hypersensitive while he's a little shocked while he's open to things but I'm sure he's had a very long day and I bet he's very tired right now. So I'm gonna put them all to bed. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my links in the description box. Always read the description box. Hashtag reading and dreaming for my smart sniffers. And for you flighters, I love you guys so much. That's those of you who are on my Patreon helping me to fight for parrot rights one day. But in the meantime, we tackle small steps. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out the Vinny Gang hoodie. Bye! Yes.